Hello, duckies, and welcome back to Wildflowers. My name is Viola. If you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel. We are in winter of year two. Now, I will say this. This may be my last season for the game. Um, there was talk quite a while back about an update for season for for year three but i haven't really seen any details about it yet so we're probably going to, to hold for that but just giving you a heads up now let's see what kim's up morning to. kim hey tara so apparently everyone was so happy with how well the winter feast went last year that they've asked me to run it again and from now on yay well of course you did a great job <laughs> I, I mean i just bossed all my neighbors into cooking for me speaking of which your salmon dish was such a hit that we ran out early any chance you can make it again but like more sure happy to contribute great i'm going to make the rounds now and see what everyone else will be bringing spoiler alert cameron's making soup <laughs> I've been thinking of a dish that Amira would love. You wouldn't happen to know her favorite food, would you? Okay, so let's actually go ahead and make that. Salmon, 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 what is it? Is it the roast salmon? Yeah, roast salmon, okay. Mmm, roast salmon sounds delicious. Okay, and let's go ahead and plant... Ooh, I don't have that much. Uh, let's go and plant the flowers, because we know for a fact we need those. to remember what it was besides a duck. Oh, oh, well. That, that was the wrong thing, but oh well. We'll just have a little bit of, uh, of cross action here, and that's fine. Take my way around. There we go. Planter's gonna look a little bit weird, but it's okay. Weird is okay. It's winter. What's with all the the flowers? Okay. Um. First things first. We want. A Lee duck egg because we want another pretty duck. Hope we get another pretty. Chicken. Oh gosh, I have completely forgotten what it was that I was going to breed this season. Let me quickly look at 
my guide. Let's see, we have a special pig, we have a special cow, we have a special a special alpaca, but wait, was it that I, I wanted something other than a rainbow alpaca? Because rainbow alpacas give certain things and then normal alpacas that aren't rainbow give other things, maybe? Maybe. Let's see here. Looking, looking, looking. Let's see all the workings. Okay, so in winter... always get rainbow milk, normal pigs, magical pigs, normal sheep, non-rainbow sheep, and then rainbow sheep. I have a non-rainbow sheep. I think I need a rainbow sheep and then I need a non-rainbow alpaca. And I'm just gonna do those. Yeah, because my sheeps are in al in rainbow this season, and alpacas are in teal, which I thought looked really, really cute. So, yeah, that that's our key here. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna start this will make with a baby. you, because I already know what you like. Yeah. You like lemons. Tasty, tasty lemons. Okay. I have to go to Hollow and get another potion for my animals because I accidentally used one. The winter feast is my least favorite Fairhaven tradition. All that animal flesh. Yes, I, I expected such. Let's see. Zephyr handed me a letter from Kim regarding the winter feast. Even though I'm not yet comfortable in human spaces, I'm glad to be considered. and get all these flowers because they're always useful for me. Also, I have to remember I have to go into the blooming and water all the things. Dzangas take special requests. I'm hoping coconut macarons will be on the feast menu this year. Macarons. Macarons, not macarons. Macarons and runes are different things, guys. We have to... Everybody needs to kind of figure this out. So... Macarons are the French, they're the little almond ones that have the two little little patties and they look like little mini burgers. 
runes. Are these little piles of coconut that look absolutely delicious and taste absolutely delicious when done right? If I'm not mixing those up, my brain sometimes mixes them up, but then again, my brain mixes a lot of things up. Jeez Louise, Tara. Kim's come to ask if I'm participating in the feast this year. I appreciate the masking, but I've already started on my contribution. There's no way I'm dipping out. You know, I like Kim, but I need them to lay off the potluck solicitations. I am not a kitchen whiz, and no one wants to see me bring TV dinners to the feast. I always look forward to helping Damon with his feast prep. I taste test and tell him about my favorite surf spots to keep him from getting bored. Kim's asked me to help with this year's feast. It's nice for an old man to feel useful sometimes. Juliet hasn't been a fan of holidays since her father passed, especially this time of year. Giacomo loved to do Chrismica with Juliet. You know what I should do? Gift everyone in town a box of baking soda. Uh, you ordered too much and need to get rid of the surplus, or...? No, no, it's the perfect present for, like, everyone. Sophia, cooking with it. Kim, tenderizing meat. Hubby, polishing his silver. Uh-huh. Well, what about... The twins? What are ten-year-olds gonna do with baking soda? Tara, 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 do you know how many ways baking soda can be rigged to go kaboom? I'm telling you, it's way more than what you bake of it. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. <laughs> them to rig it to go kaboom? Today I found out Finn's been using my coffee filters to make paper snowflakes. They're great snowflakes, and I appreciate the creativity, but now I'm gonna have to break out the fancy French press if I want my morning cuppa. Ugh. That's so many steps. <laughs> Sorry about that. Stop in the middle there. I thought I was out of the conversation. Apparently I wasn't kidding. Bonnet. Big parties are not my thing, but when Kim invites you to go to the feast, how are you supposed to say no? They're like the cool older sibling I wish I had. Um, anybody else have anything interesting? It seems like Francis joined just at the right time. We needed him. And I think he needed us too. Oh, fantastic work on that incantation, Tara. You did wonderfully. I just wish we knew what was causing all this. Me too, Lena. I hate running behind like a magical cleanup crew. I get enough of that with the twins. Unless it's the twins doing it. The summer festival went surprisingly well. Yes, and you brought them their offerings. So I think they'll come again. Everyone here's got a real talent. How'd you figure out yours? I know this is corny, but keep marching to your own beat. It wasn't until I did that for myself, magic opened up to me. I had a chat with Ariel about what the fairy folk actually want for offerings. These days, even they have modern taste. Hmm. 
I know I would get a huge magic boost if I tossed a pearl into the wellspring, but do you know how long I spend beachcombing for these things? <laughs> Every year we go without wraiths is a relief. Stay sharp, Tara. I'm glad my mom's back. I didn't realize how long I'd been holding my breath. <laughs> Going this the way. boost or something and it like oh stayed watered for like two days or or something more like that sort of thing i don't know it's just an idea or even like sped up the progress of of them growing perhaps i don't know Got ideas and I don't know what to do with them. Purple silk thread. Purple leather. Purple, purple, purple. Purple, purple. I'm looking forward to going to the feast with you. If you help out Kim, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. for bed. Yes. As far as the wolf thing goes, nope. I need some more cinnamon. Ooh. Tara, I was just about to knock. You've got to come to my house quick. The rest of the coven is already there. Uh, sure, but what's this all about? You'll see. It's really weird. Uh, whoa? Uh, wh what is going on? It's been like this all morning. It wasn't me, I swear. No one is accusing you of anything, Sebastian. Not yet. It's not replenishing our magic anymore. Look what happens when I put in a shell. <laughs> Definitely not right. Maybe Vanessa charmed the fountain before she left. Like a final act of revenge. I wonder if this is what's caused all the strange things that have happened lately. Like the bunny ears and Cameron turning into a duck. And my skateboard going haywire. Yeah, 
which you caused by dipping your sapphire in the wellspring. Yes, but the bunny ear thing happened well before that. Right. I don't think it was Vanessa either, to tell you the truth. I've been testing the wellspring fountain with my versorium, but I'm only getting faint magic readings. She would have left a bigger impression if she had tinkered with it. Impression, eh? Well, that might be a start. Craft this potion, Keeper. We'll pour it into the wellspring fountain, and she'll spill her secrets. Inscribe potion. Okay. Hiya, Shelby. Keeping warm this winter? Yeah, of course. My cabin and my fire suit me fine. And the blanket I made with the wool you gave me last winter is a help. Speaking of which, I heard Marty might have brought some ducks over on the ferry. That was a strange segue even for you, Shelby. Ah, I need feathers for a pillow. Mine's gotten so flat it's hardly any use. You keeping any ducks on your farm? Yes, I am. I can see if I can source some feathers for you. Much obliged. Duck! What? You've got my duck feathers. I thank you. Oh, H how did you... Never mind. <sighs> Here you go. And he's got the stuff for shovels and a thistle. Thank you. The winter feast has been quite the pleasure ever since Kim's led the charge. They do their best to keep me included. The Harvest Festival went beautifully this year, Grandma. And it was nice to make offerings and remember our loved ones... ...without having to worry about wraiths. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely better not to have to worry about the wraiths. I wasn't here before Kim handled the Winter Feast. I can't imagine anyone doing as good a job as them. Kim's a delight. It's a relief to hand off the Winter Feast to someone I know will do an excellent job. Kim's so cute. They've been so excited for this year's Winter Feast. We're gonna make another gingerbread house this year. Hopefully we don't gobble it all up in one day like last time, though. Yeah. Ginger's good for the tummy, but, uh, not too much. <laughs> Kim's dope. They always ask about the foods I like and try to make sure it's at the feast. Didn't know I could rush here. Huh. Nice to know. Sebastian's been talking a lot about going off to college. <laughs> he knows a lot more about where he wants to go than I did at his age. Hey, any cinnamon. Please tell me you have cinnamon. I get older, but I never feel older. It's like time stops moving once you hit a certain point in life. Cinnamon! Only three, but it's better than nothing. Thank you. Not a cat, thanks. Kim does such a magnificent job running the feast. They have a real knack for keeping everyone's contribution cohesive, too. In season.
Sometimes I think I should take up a hobby, like ceramics. But what would I even do with all that pottery? But then if I sell it in my shop, it's just another job. But if you love your job, you never work a day in your life. If I get really ambitious one year, maybe I'll make my abuela's pasteles recipe for the feast. She used to make it for the holidays every year. Is it that I need? I need a ton of amethyst. Amethyst. I need a ton of amethyst. I need more, like four more. Minimal. Right, 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 right. Supplies, demand, supplies, demand. 50, yes, gotcha. Okay. Red buns or a souffle? What are you craving today? Well... Oh, or perhaps you've got deliciousness to sell to me? Nope. Just thought I'd stop by and say hi. Oh, well, that's sweet, too. <laughs> little baker pun there. Uh-huh. A little one? Stormy weather. Oh, one of these days, I'll actually have time to contribute to this feast. I once made a crawfish pie that everyone talked about for weeks. Okay, I actually need these. Oh. And it's stormy weather. Super stormy weather, super duper stormy weather. Why it's super duper, why it's super stormy. This winter is making auto act real stern. Gotta be the stress. Gotta be. I sure hope so. I have so many fish. So many fish, but not a lot of those I have a lot of. These I don't have a lot of. There. That's good. A pearl of wisdom? Who knows? It's a pearl. Come here. Where's Thomas? There's Thomas. Thomas. Hate to say it, but Kim's a great organizer. They go out of their way to make sure there's dishes I can eat at the winter feast. Juliet asked me to teach her some of my Nana's dishes. I was so excited. I rushed over to Lena's to get what I need before she changes her mind. <laughs> it's always nice when your kids decide to get involved in what you like. Like, I may not have kids, but I know for a fact. Like, my mom was so proud when she heard I started 
cooking from scratch. She didn't really get to when she was younger, but she always wanted to. She, there was only a few recipes that she ever did from scratch, but... Like, I did it without her ever having to get involved, and she was just over the moon. Constantly. You a lemon because we need your lemons. Keep up with that. Ah, hurry. running tests on the mayor's fountain but i'm stumped everything seems normal but when i try dipping gems into it i get the same glowy explosively incorrect result as sebastian hmm. yeah, it did take a shell and turn it back into a crab that's kind of questionable in general Let's see here. Okay, one minute each. Got it. Check on the fabric. Okay, so so far nothing secondary as far as like the actual festival, but we are slowly, slowly coming to an understanding of what was going on and causing everything to kind of be a haywire ball of chaos everywhere. So I think that is going to be it for today's episode. 
So thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye! -bye.